Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you very much for clicking on this video. And if you are returning, thank you very much for sticking around. So in today's video, we have a big haul. I've shopped at Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, ASOS and a few other little places. I'm going on holiday at the end of this month, so I thought I'd grab a few new items. So I'm gonna try them on with you. Um, for reference, I am five foot four in height and between a size eight and 10 in clothes. I tend to go for a size eight on the top and 10 on the bottom, but I will tell you along the way what size I've got and how much each item was. I'll try and leave all the information in the description box below but if you do have any questions then please just drop them in the comments. Or... I think that is all I have to say. I've got a feeling this is going to be a long video so let's get straight into it and let's get trying some clothes on. I also just wanted to say I had a minor op on my back so please excuse the stitches if you are not very good with that sort of stuff and excuse the bruises on my legs because I'm very clumsy so I end up bumping into everything and please give this video a big like and show me some love because this is the first try on haul I've ever done so I hope it goes well and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So first things I've got to show you, I'm going to start with the shoes because then I can use those in the outfit and it'll be a lot easier to pair with stuff. So the first thing I picked up was from Foot Asylum. So years ago I had Nike Air Force Ones, absolutely loved them, they go with everything. Chunky trainers have made a comeback. So why not purchase a new pair because I love them so much. So. These were from Foot Asylum. I got them in a size five and a half and they were $49.99. And I'm sure you have all seen them. They just look like this. So just plain chunky white trainers. And I found they went with absolutely everything. I'll pair these obviously with just leggings and trackers and chill outfits, but I also find that you can put them with skirts, dresses, shorts, just to give them a bit more of a casual vibe. So if you've got something that's a bit more dressy, you can wear it in the daytime and just pair it with a nice pair of chunky white trainers. So that is those, love them. And I'm sure I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of them again because my old ones I ran into the ground so I'm very excited that I have finally picked a pair of those up. Okay so next is from June. Again the I had a pair of Birkenstocks years and years ago and um, absolutely love them and I went to get them out this summer as we've had a bit of nice weather and I can't find them anywhere I've searched the entire house I don't know where they are so came across these on June and they had a sale. Now June are still good quality so I thought rather than spending over the odds for Birkenstocks I just went for this pair. So they come in a little dust bag which I thought was quite cute. I won't keep them in that but I thought it was a nice little touch and so they are double strap. I get up close there like a snake. Uh, croc sort of print leather um, just traditional Birkenstocks they look pretty much exactly the same so yeah put those up again I'll be getting a lot of wear out of these they go with a lot of outfits they're so easy to slip on so I got these and they were half price so I picked them up for £20 so they were originally 40 they had very limited sizes, so I got these in a size 6. They did have limited sizes, so if you do go on there, I do apologise if they are out of stock or if they don't have your size in these. But £20 bargain, go get yourself a pair. So that is that. Now I'm going to stick with the shop, so I'm going to move on to ASOS first. Okay, so first thing I picked up from ASOS are these Adidas leggings. Again, I'm sure everyone and their nan owns a pair of these. They are very popular. And again, this was another love of mine. I had a pair of these and I think I wore them that often that 
I ended up getting a hole along the seam at the back and it, it wasn't repairable and I'd had them years so I really needed to get rid of them and then I just didn't replace them and I don't know why because I loved them again they go with everything they're just a black legging but I think the stripes down the side just add a little bit of something and I love the waistband on these it's nice and thick nice and supportive so I do really enjoy wearing these I'll try my best to remember to tell you sizes and prices but if I have missed anything and you do want to know then please just drop a comment down below. So these were the Adidas Originals Adicolor High Waisted 3 Stripe Legging in Black. There are a few different types. I like these high waisted ones because as I said the waistband is really supportive. I got these in a size 10 and they were £28. The next thing I picked up from ASOS, I only picked two things up from ASOS this time. And I've wanted a pair. So these are a pair of white, I'd say sort of cycling length shorts, but they are a cotton sort of material and baggy. Now I've seen a few outfits and a few people wear these and they really caught my eye. They look so comfortable um, and they looked really cool. <laughs> so I hope I look just as cool in them. Probably not. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give them a try. Thought I'd pick them up, see if I can get, um, get an outfit put together and see if I like them. So again, I got these in a size 10. They were £12 and they were the ASOS brand. So ASOS design, jersey, slim shorts in white. And I think these were from the men's section even. So the drawstring does work, which is very helpful because I have a smaller waist and quite a big bum. So it's great. I have to buy like bigger to fit my bum and thighs, but then right with the drawstrings, you can just cinch in. So I picked those up from ASOS. Okay, next I'm going to move on to Boohoo. So I picked a few things up from Boohoo. I'd say the largest shop I did was from Pretty Little Things. So we'll move on to that next. Um, but I've got a few items from Boohoo. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you are these tracksuit bottoms. They are like this, full length. They have a cuff at the bottom and a lovely, again, I love a thick waistband. A thick waistband, that's it, I'm sold. That's all I need for bottoms. So for these, so these were popper front loop back joggers. They were £14.40, colour ecru. Now, I was expecting these to be a bit more of a darker sand colour based on the picture on the website, but they are quite a, a, a very light sand, like beigey sort of colour. What? I didn't even know ecru was a colour. Has anyone heard of ecru? Uh, so yes, yeah, so I got them in a size 10 and they were £14.40. They have these lovely popper details and they do actually, the poppers do work, but they are very secure, so it's not like they're gonna pop open bending down or anything like that but these fitted lovely I'd say they were a bit baggy on the crotch area but not overly noticeable and I love to roll the bottom like cuff up just to make them a little bit shorter so they fall nicer with my trainers because I am only five foot four so things tend to be long but yeah love those so comfortable i really wish you could feel this fabric right now very very cozy very comfortable and again can't wait to give those sorry and again can't wait to give those a whirl next outfit i put together then the first thing i'll show you are the cycling shorts now i'm a massive fan of cycling shorts i love them um i love like baggy oversized t-shirt dresses, shirt dresses, even just long t-shirts. Um, and I always feel a bit at risk of like dresses. I'm not a dress, a massive dress person. So I'll always pair everything with cycling shorts, makes me feel a lot more comfortable um, and at ease. Now I already have a few pairs and colors of cycling shorts, but I don't have any in white. So I thought I would pick these up from Boohoo. So these were the, 
basic slinky cycling shorts. I got these in a 10 and they were £3.60. Now the first thing I would say about this is if I can try and give you a bit of a colour comparison. They're more of like a creamy yellowy white. So this is the white short I got from ASOS. And I think you can kind of see and pick it up there. They're not, I wanted white, not yellowy, creamy white, but they'll do the job. They fit okay. They are extremely high-waisted and extremely long. So the crotch bit, ended up being quite roughly because they literally came and sat under my boobs. So where I rolled them down and put them to a place that was comfortable, it did then mean that the crotch was a bit roughly. But as I say, I do wear these under t-shirt dresses and shirts, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. I'm still gonna keep them. So I paired that, I paired the cycling shorts with a vest that I've had for years. Again, I can't even remember where it's from. I think it's from In The Style a couple of years ago. Um, I love this. This was a win for me, a massive win. One, I absolutely love gingham and I only own one thing in this print. So I was very excited to get my hands on something else. Now this I did originally purchase as just a throw over shirt. So again, as I've paired in the video with some cycling shorts, a top, and then this I thought as it gets, I'm hoping for hot weather in Devon. So if I keep on like, you know, a lot of these things are sun outfits, it's because I do have high hopes and I think I'm on holiday. So the sun is gonna be there, which isn't the case in England, but anyway. So I thought as it got cooler in the evenings and I needed something, or even in the day, because it's probably going to be cold in the day as well, I thought it'd be great to just have a little something to chuck over just for a bit of extra warmth. So this is a full length sleeve, but I'm not a massive fan of having full length things. So I did roll it up, which is great. You are able to do that. And I think this would also be perfect to wear as a shirt dress. So as I've shown, once you've buttoned it up, have some little cycling shorts popping out the bottom, get some jewellery on. I think that would be absolutely perfect to have. I really, really like that. And this was, it's tall oversized gingham shirt. I got it in a size medium to large because I wanted it to be oversized. And that was £14.40. So I was very, very excited about that. And yes, it definitely lived up to my expectations and I can't wait to wear that. That was great. Okay, so the next thing, another exciting one and moving away from the whole lounge, cycling shorts, basic, comfy clothes. <laughs> I went for something that was out of my comfort zone, but the model looked amazing in it, and I thought, hey, let's give it a go. So it is a wrap over skirt. Uh, so it's petite leopard print satin wrap midi skirt. Don't know why I went for a petite. I'm, I don't think I even knew it was a petite, clearly. But I got it in a size 10, and it was £14.40. Now, I'm not going to lie, it took me a while to figure out how on earth this fastens up, but we got there eventually. So, part of the skirt goes through a bit of a loop, so you basically get into the first section and tie that bit tight around your waist, well like pull that bit tight, and then this bit wraps back around, you carry on pulling that tight around that way and then it sits around your waist as a wrap over skirt. So this does have a split on the one leg. I suppose you could wear it to the side. You could wear it over um, the one leg like I have in the try on. But yeah, this was great. It's not see-through. It was really comfortable. You can obviously tighten it or loosen it to your waist. So it is um, quite adjustable. The only thing I would say is that where the slit is, um, again, I'd probably wear some hot pants or cycling shorts under this just to be safe because as I was walking and moving my legs, the flap was quite revealing on my crotch area. So 
Um, I would wear something just to keep it safe under there, but with this, I paired it with the sandals. I, I wouldn't wear that with this. I'd probably either wear, if I was going to dress it down a bit, I'd chuck some vans on or I would put some small black heels on. And I think that would be lovely to go for a nice meal on an evening. But fantastic that was. Really surprised me. Really liked it. And I felt a lot more comfortable in it than I thought I was going to do. So that was great. Now this again completely out of my comfort zone i don't know what mood i was in ordering this because i never go for anything cropped um or if i do i just never end up wearing it but we will see how this goes so this was woven tie front oversized sleeve oversized sleeve crop top again got it in a size 10 and this was nine pounds now now in the try on, I didn't have the best bra at all to wear with this, so that probably didn't do it justice, but I was surprisingly happy with this. I could see myself wearing it. I paired it with some denim shorts. So again, if it was a warmer evening or in the day, you were going to more like pubs and restaurants rather than going to the beach or anything. Um, I think this would be lovely. You don't have to wear it on its own. I suppose you could wear a vest or something underneath and then use this as again a bit more of a cover up and tie it round as a bit of a jacket but I love the sleeves on these they are massive um, but very floaty and airy so it is good for the warmer months but yeah I was surprisingly happy with this I thought it fit okay I just need to figure out the bra situation um, but yeah that was, again, another nice item I was surprised with. So that was everything that I picked up from Boohoo. I'm going to move on swiftly and move on to Pretty Little Thing. This was one of the larger shops that I ended up doing. First thing I'm going to start with is a piece of jewellery. I feel like a lot of things have come back that I've realised that I loved before and then it's either ended up breaking or I've worn it to death and had to throw it away and why I haven't replaced it at the time I do not know but I love layer necklaces and I had a few layer necklaces and I'm very clumsy so ended up breaking both of them and I worn both layer necklaces all the time they went with every outfit they were great and when I broke them, it was just sort of, okay, my layer necklace, necklace days are over. I didn't replace them at the time. But again, they have made a massive comeback and I've seen loads of people wearing them and I've been very jealous. So I picked up this from Pretty Little Thing. So there is a smaller chain here, which is more like a choker sort of size. This one with a little pendant on it, which has a anchor on it. And then this one here, which is a bit longer, that says love. I loved how these look together. I can't wait to have my layer necklace days back. So that was the first item. Let me tell you how much that was, sorry. So that is from Pretty Little Thing. It is the gold love coin layered necklace and it was £6.30. Now this first outfit is a bit of me. So when I saw these leopard prints, let me get rid of the bag glass, there's going to be loads of crinkling. When I saw these leopard print cycling shorts, I had to, had to, had to, had to grab them. Now, I've never been a massive fan of animal print. I've never, I don't have any animal print in my wardrobe. So I now have a skirt and some cycling shorts. So we're adding a bit of the print in. I'm starting to get into the leopard animal print vibe. So I picked up these leopard print cycling shorts. Now these, I don't know how to describe it. It's more of a rib. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's like a crinkly rib sort of material, but these were very comfortable when I put them on. So they are black leopard print rib cycle shorts. I got them in a size 10 and they were £6.30. And I paired those with, it is plain black. You can see, oh, 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 I've just hit myself in the face. Oh God. 
Um, it just has pretty little thing on the front in embroidery, which I thought was just a lovely small detail to have on there. It is full length long sleeves and this I got, um, I definitely, yeah, so pretty little thing, black embroidered oversized sweater. It was £15.30 and I got this in a large because I wanted it to be oversized and boy, is it oversized. So this ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would, but pairing with those cycling shorts and my new Air Ones, that is a vibe. So this is definitely going to be worn to death because I love a sweater. And a plain black one, can't beat it. So that was fantastic. Moving on. I can't remember that one. Okay. So I got these more cycling shorts. <laughs> It, this is my holiday shop, so if there's a lot of repetitive items, it's because I'm thinking what I'm going to be wearing on my holiday. And as I say, I am expecting hot weather. I've got high hopes that we're gonna have some sunshine. Um, and I'm not a short, short person, so cycling shorts are perfect, which is why there's a lot in this video. Anyway, ramble over. So these came as a two pack. They are black and grey basic cycling shorts. I got them in a size 10 and they were £7.20. So the first ones I have to show you, not much to say about these, but they are just a pair of plain black cycling shorts. Now what I did like about these is it has got a thicker waistband. I, do cur I am currently wearing some black cycling shorts that have seen better days which is why i ordered some new ones but the waistband is quite thin i love oh, i just love a thick waistband it just make it feel so comfortable so yes not much to say about those but just some little black cycling shorts and then to go with those I picked up some oversized slouchy t-shirts. I love just t-shirts, cycling shorts, chunky trainers, bit of jewelry, perfect, I'm all there, that's an outfit done for me. <laughs> that's all I live in, so I picked this first t-shirt up, which is plain white in the front. Again, it is, I'd say this fitted tighter than I expected. What size did I pick this up in? So this was white 1980 tour slogan oversized t-shirt size large so seeing as in the title it said it was an oversized t-shirt and i picked it up in a large i was expecting this to be more t-shirt dress sorry this was eight pound ten so i was expecting this to be larger than it is i mean i don't know if if you can really see i mean you'll see from the try on but I wouldn't say this is oversized, a large oversized t-shirt. I would probably put this at around a size, a fitted 12, 14. So I didn't think it was oversized, but I do love the printing on the back. So it just says 1989 Global, World Tour, and then it has this lovely love heart with some graphics on it. So, as I said, oversized t-shirt, Cycling shorts, I'm all there for that. That's an outfit done. So this was perfect. I also got a, another t-shirt, which this one was the white vintage police print oversized t-shirt again in a large and was also £8.10. So this one is just plain white on the back and then all of the print is on the front. So I hope you can see that. So it just says Bronx, New York City, and then has a little police car on print there. So this definitely, I would say, is more the correct size and vibe I was going for. So I would say that this is an oversize um, large. It did come up like a t-shirt dress, um, so it was a lot longer on me, which is perfect because I will wear these just with cycling shorts. So I do like them to be longer and cover my bum. Okay, so this was the other pair of cycling shorts that came in that two pack. Oh my God, considering this is a two pack, they're exactly the same size, they came out of exactly the same pack. The sizing was so different on these, I couldn't put them on. Physically could not get them over my butt.
what the hell? These are the same shorts. They've come out the same packet and I literally, that is, that is my bum as squished as it's possibly gonna get. I can't get into them. What the hell? I mean, look at that. Oh, I literally, like the waistband, that is not stretching anymore. I physically can't. Oh, she can't. But the black ones, that they're, they're out of the exact same pack, so they come as a two pair. Um, and the black ones fit fine. But these, I'm physically, I can't get, I can't get them on. This is as far as they are going. Oh my God, what a difference in size. Oh, 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 oh. There is no way. <laughs> I can't get it over my butt. Okay, so these are enough. But never mind. So I paired that with a tie dye. Tie dye is massively in at the moment, so I couldn't help but at least pick one item up. And I got it in this purple colour. But this is supposed to be a t shirt dress. So it is lilac tie dye oversized boyfriend t shirt dress in a size 10, and it was £9.90. Oh my god. Now this will definitely not be worn. I thought this was gonna be a really cute little summer dress. It looked great on the model. Oh yeah, she looks really lovely. Um, red ditzy floral print frill detail shift dress in a size 10 and 11 pounds 70. This is tiny, not tiny. I mean, there's loads of stretch. I got it on really easy and the top half fit great, but it is very, very short. When I put it on, I thought, oh, okay, that feels a bit breezy. And then turned around, looked in the mirror and was like, whoa, my butt cheeks are right there. <laughs> this is very, very short. And I'm only five foot four, so I'm not a tall person anyway, but this was a top, basically. But yeah, I love the frill detail here and I thought this was gonna be a really pretty summer dress, but as I said, it was just way too short. So that is not going to be staying in my wardrobe. We are getting there. I think we're down to the last three items now. So nearly done. Okay, so this one is a jumpsuit. It is peach ribbed twist detail collot jumpsuit size 10 14 pound 40 now love a jumpsuit love a collot perfect it's like this it's got a twist knot front and i would say it is rather plunge it does come quite low down the chest which again isn't really my vibe but it was okay i did like it i did go and pair this with a black belt so again this would look great to pair with my chunky white trainers or i'd just put some little sandals on um, and i think when i put the belt on and it broke the outfit up a little bit i did definitely prefer it more so i'd probably stick a belt on with it love for that okay last clothing item we have and it is the let me tell you black dalmatian print short sleeve smock dress again in a size 10 and this was eight pound 10 bargain so this was very nice so it's got short little cap sleeves they are actually sewn to be rolled over slightly and it just has a small round neckline and then it is a smock dress, so it has got the detail stitch in here that cinches in a little bit, and then it just sits and falls out. So this as well, you can see it is Dalmatian print, as it says on the title. So a little dress like this is perfect to just wear with some chunky white trainers in the day. The material of this doesn't really have any stretch in it it's quite a tight fit in so if you are going to get this then i would definitely say to go for your size i mean it, it's definitely true to size i've got a size 10 and it fits fine but there isn't any give so i'd say if you are between sizes then perhaps go for the larger one the last item here we go so i thought what better item to finish on than a pair of slippers 
So I had some slippers for Christmas. Very kindly, I've done one a few years ago, but they have definitely seen better days. So they, I am in need of some new slippers. These were... So they are the Black Faux Sheepskin Mule Slippers. I got them in a size six and they were £12.60. That is everything for today's haul. I had great fun filming that and trying everything on. As I said earlier, please give this a massive thumbs up because this is my first clothing haul and I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. If there was anything that I've missed or you've got any questions, then as always, please leave them below. But again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again in a video real soon. Bye.